my name is Rebecca Davenport. Um, I'm a Master of Clinical Psychology and PhD candidate at the University of Melbourne. Um, my research is focused on um, common psychiatric problems, specifically wound and anxiety disorders and multiple sclerosis. And I have kind of a clinical background working in the treatment of these disorders in multiple sclerosis. So I'm part of the Mood and Anxiety Disorders Laboratory at the University of Melbourne, um, led by Dr. Liz Acropolis and Associate Professor Isabel Craig. Um, and various students involving myself are looking kind of broadly at transdiagnostic psychological factors, so common factors which underlie depression and anxiety in a range of populations. Um, my PhD specifically in this study is focused on understanding the factors which are important in um, explaining depression, anxiety and sexual dysfunction for people who are living with multiple sclerosis. Um, identifying whether these are unique for people with multiple sclerosis or are similar to people in the general population and other chronic disease groups. So clinical levels of depression and anxiety symptoms and really high levels of sexual dysfunction are very common in people living with multiple sclerosis. We know that these levels are higher in people with MS relative to the general population and many other clinical groups. Um, nonetheless, there isn't much research or there hasn't been much clinical attention on these problems, so that's why we're focusing on them. Um, the outcomes of this research study specifically is that we hope to develop a stronger kind of evidence base to understanding the specific psychological factors which are important in these common symptoms in MS. Um, there are no current psychological treatments for sexual dysfunction in MS and there is a limited number of psychological treatments for depression and anxiety in MS and these are unfortunately based um, most on data collected from, gen from the general population which means they're not targeted to people with MS and this is a huge problem. We really hope that this data helps us build evidence-based models which clinicians and researchers can draw upon to inform treatments which reduce these common symptoms in MS and the burden and the impact that they have on the, um, people's everyday lives and their experience of disease. This research takes the form of um, a longitudinal study where we're examining differences in responses from a time one to a time two. So time one is an online survey which um, is focused on examining a range of psychological factors. So it does take approximately 40 minutes to complete. We understand that this is a lengthy time frame, so we've created the survey in a way that allows you to take breaks and return to your safe progress. Um, six months from completing time one, we will contact you via email to complete a final and shortened version um, survey online, and that's um, your contribution to the study overall. So the research has been set up in a really easy way. So you can click the link to the survey and it will take you to a secure online website um, where we ask a host of questions examining psychological factors um, and also health factors as well. This platform is confidential um, and only researchers involved in this project will have access to the data. We really appreciate all the time and energy that is devoted to undertaking this research survey. It is crucial to developing our understanding as clinicians and researchers of these common problems in MS, depression, anxiety and sexual dysfunction. Without your contribution, these things will remain kind of misunderstood um, and we really hope that this improves both your clinical care and um, researchers and clinicians approach to these issues.